Hey there. Okay, we're going to try this again. This is Melissa uh, with Vivian's Cleaning with H2O Party. And unfortunately, we weren't able to go live tonight, but we're going to give this a try uh, just recording and uploading the video to Facebook. So what we're doing tonight is our raw chicken demo. As I told you earlier, uh, we're going to show you that you can remove 99% of the bacteria from surfaces with just water and microfiber. And um, as I told you last night, what sets our microfiber apart is that it's one two hundredth the width of a human hair. And so because the fibers are so small, you can pick up, it just grabs all of that bacteria off of the surface. But then when you rinse your cloth out, squeeze it, hang it up to dry, the silver actually goes to work to stop the breeding process of bacteria. And so it kind of halts it, and uh, bacteria is not allowed to survive where silver is present. And so that's what makes this cloth so fantastic. Um, so what I'm going to do is I've got our awesome, this is our smaller cutting board. We've got two sizes, uh, but our cutting board is actually made out of rice husks. And so it doesn't um, get all those marks in it where bacteria can kind of be stored. Um, it's just got an awesome surface. If you just want to zoom in on that real quick so people can see. And this is what we're going to do the demonstration on. Okay? All right. So this is, um, like I said, the smaller one. We just came out with the larger one, which I'm really excited about. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these protein stick testers that we get from Weber Scientific. Um, I just order them because they're the, uh, they give me the best price. But Weber Scientific is a third-party company, and these tests will actually uh, test if there is protein on a surface. And so uh, a lot of times in, like, food service industry, uh, you may have a health inspector or something go in and swab the counter where they're cooking and preparing food to make sure that the, the counter is sanitary. And so that's what we're doing with this. Um, so the test uh, has four levels. Green means clean. Purple means protein. So anything less than green means that there is actually protein present on the surface. And protein is smaller uh, in its molecular structure than bacteria. So the bacteria feeds on it, and that's how the bacteria grows. So that's why it's so important to wash your hands, wash your counters after you're cutting up raw chicken, because that protein sitting there, will um, the bacteria will feed it, and it'll grow. And so uh, we're going to just test that, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to take this raw chicken and I'm just going to rub it all over the cutting board, okay? So you can see it's nice and nasty, okay? All right, and then I'm going to take one of our clean swabs and I'm just going to run it all over. And then what we're going to do is we're going to release this liquid into here. Can get it to go in there. There we go. And we're just going to test for protein. So what what ends up happening is is that the the color of the water starts to turn. Sometimes it takes a little bit. You can see it's kind of it's still green, but it's kind of leaving that green. And moving to gray. Okay. So you can kind of see that it's starting to turn, and as it sits there, it starts to get darker and darker and darker. And so let's just give it one more second here. All right. So you can see that the it's starting to turn a darker color here and anything less than green. Green is the only one with a check mark because that means that the surface is clean and you can see this is starting to go down into the grayish purple area, okay? And all that means, like I said, it doesn't mean that there's bacteria swimming all over here. What it means is that there's protein and that's what the breeding ground for bacteria is, okay? So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take our cloth. All I did was wet this down with water and I am just gonna go over this cutting board I'm just going to wipe it clean. So I just use water, okay? And now I'm going to take a brand new protein swab. And we're going to, again, we're going to swab all over the surface. Okay. All right, now, 
Now if it stays green, that means that it's clean. So let's give this one a second too. You can pull both of them up together so that you can see the difference in color. And I want to be fair and give this a little bit of time. Make sure this one doesn't turn. Okay. And so you can see if you hold these up here, you can clearly see the difference. It's not detecting any protein, okay? And then what I like to show is, let's make sure it's staying green. <laughs> okay, so then what I like to show is, um, I, I'm just going to go ahead and rub a little bit on my counter here. Okay, now I just wiped up this surface with chicken, okay? Now, Norwex does not say that that, that the cloth will not cross contaminate, but I'm going to actually show you that I can wipe another surface. I'm going to test the surface where I just rubbed that raw chicken. And it's still green. Okay. So that is showing that, you know, you can wipe multiple surfaces down and your cloth is actually going to stay clean, okay? So that is a really exciting demo to me. Green clean, great, dirty. That's one. Okay, and then the second one that I want to show you really quick is our mop system. Now this is our telescopic mop system. We call it our superior mop system. It's got a telescopic handle that goes up and down. And um, what's awesome about this is it comes with a dry pad as well as a wet pad. And so the dry pad is what you're going to go and you're going to get all the dust and the hair up off your floor. Now, it's not a broom. So I want you to, you know, understand that there's heavier things on the floor that this dust mop will not pick up. So what I typically do is I try to keep it in front of me. And I go in a figure eight motion on the floor. And the heavier stuff that it doesn't grab onto, I just keep in the front of the mop. And then I just give it a good shake when I'm ready, and then I just sweep it up. The other nice thing is, you can see we've got kitty cats and all of this hair. This is our rubber brush. And I take the rubber brush. Whoop, I got a fan blowing on me here. Ah! <laughs> okay, so I take the rubber brush, and you can see all of that stuff that just comes right off of there. Okay, and then we're ready to go again. Okay, so that's our dry. Then, once you get your floor swept really well, you can take this pad off. And then you go to the wet mop. This one you just put water on. And this one contains our, um, our backlog technology. And so you just pop it on there like that. And now you're ready to mop your floor. And I just go in a figure eight motion. Your floor dries really fast and you're removing 99% of the bacteria up off the surface of your floor with just water, no chemicals. So if you have little children running around or you just hate having a wet floor or animals that can be exposed to chemicals, uh, chemicals are nasty. So, um, you know, they lick their paws and they do all that kind of stuff. So this is awesome because it picks up, look at all that dirt it picked up off the floor. Kind of embarrassed because I'm at my house, but you know, I've got three kids and cats. So, but it picks up all that dirt and then I just take it over to the sink. Whoops, sorry. And then I just give it a good rinse. And then I roll it up squeeze it out and then it's got this awesome tag on it and then I just hang it up to dry and it's ready to go again. So that is our mop system. Um, you did want me to show the ergonomic um, so I will try to do that demonstration tomorrow night. I have that one put away right now um, but I will show you we have an ergonomic uh, it's called a ergo bend and um, how it works 
is you attach it to the bottom of your mop and it has a like a pulley system in it where you can pull it up and then you can get way underneath stuff so that you can get pretty far underneath with just your mop but this has a bendable elbow to it and it goes both ways so you can bend it frontward or you can bend it to the side and so uh, that is, that's our ergo bend and that's just a little extra thing that you can add on to your mop and it's really nice if you have you know like a buffet or something that you need to get really far underneath with um, so that's all I have for tonight and I would love for y'all to post your questions and your comments and I'm excited to do a drawing tomorrow night so keep the comments coming because somebody's gonna win some free stuff good night <laughs>